Welcome to Contract Law's topic of Contracts Contrary to Public Policy. Let's begin. According to the doctrine of illegality, not all contracts are enforceable. The very purpose of the doctrine of illegality is to place substantial limitations upon the enforceability of particular contracts that either contain clauses encompassing illegal acts or clauses that are contrary to public policy. Some of the contracts contrary to public policy are the following. 1. Good morals. Contracts which are contrary to good morals are considered illegal ab initio. For example, contracts which promote sexual immorality, such as that in the case of Paul V. Brooks, 1866. 2. Family life. Contracts which are prejudicial to the marriage institution are considered illegal ab initio. For example, contracts which restrain people from marrying, such as that in the case of Lowe v. Piers, 1768. 3. Crime. Contracts for the commission of crime are considered illegal ab initio. For example, contracts for the commission of fraud, such as that in the case of Alexander v. Rayson, 1936. 4. Justice. Contracts, which are prejudicial to the administration of justice are considered illegal ab initio. For example, contracts for the obstruction of bankruptcy proceedings, such as that in the case of Elliot v. Richardson, 1870. 5. Public relations. Contracts, which are contrary to public rotations, are considered illegal ab initio. For example, contracts for the sale of public office or public honor, such as that in the case of Parkinson v. College Ambulance, 1925. 6. Restraint of trade. Contracts in restraint of trade are considered to be void ab initio. For example, contracts which restrict freedom to trade, freedom to conduct a profession, or freedom to conduct legitimate business activity. That is the end of this lecture. I hope you found it informative. If you wish to learn more about this and many other topics on all of your favorite law school subjects, make sure to check our premium content in the solutions section of our website. Furthermore, if you have any questions or are struggling with your legal studies, I'll be happy to help in my weekly Q&A, which can be found in the Lexi Live section of the website. Just fill in your inquiry, question, or comment, and I will gladly respond to it in an adequate manner. Thank you for your time. Bye-bye.